Hi everyone, my name is Aviad. I'm a senior developer at Aura Player. And in this video, I would like to show you a new integration that we have done between the Aura Player Service Manager and Blue Prism. Aura Player Service Manager specializes in creating automation flows with Oracle System, Oracle EBS, and Oracle Form System. So we have an RPA tool that, for example, can create a flow like this one. In this example, we are inserting a new sales order request into our Oracle EBS system. We read the order lines from a CSV file, interact with the Oracle EBS system, and create a new sales order in our system. So this is our visual editor for creating the RPA flow. You can see here that this flow has a few input parameters. It has the credentials, the customer name, the order type, and a pass to a CSV file that will be loaded uh, as the sales order line. And we also have a few output parameters, the order number and the lines that were just inserted, returned back as a table. So from Oracle, from our player, sorry, service manager, we can create such a flow and of course invoke it. But we know that sometimes uh, Blue Prism users want to invoke such flows from their Blue Prism environment. One reason could be that they want to integrate this flow inside a bigger process that was created in the Blue Prism uh, environment, or they just want to run it from the infrastructure of, the, of their Blue Prism uh, automation. So to do that, we have created an integration that will ease uh, this process. Any RPA uh, service that we have in Oracle, in Oracle Player Service Manager can be invoked as a REST API. So basically, you can get into your Blue Prism uh, Studio and invoke it and create an HTTP request object set up with all the correct parameters to invoke the REST API on the Oracle or player service manager, set up all the inputs and the outputs, and it will work for you. But this is a manual work that will take you some time. So to ease uh, this task on Blue Prism users, we have created a special button here, a special export here, that enables you to take this uh, flow that was created inside the or player service manager and export it immediately into Blue Prism business objects. So I'll just select the Blue Prism, and this will create a Blue Prism business object that can be imported directly into your Blue Prism environment. So let's go into our Blue Prism uh, Studio and just go to the File, Import, and import this object that we have just exported from the Service Manager. And as you can see here, a new business object was created for you. If we will get into it and take a quick look, you will be able to see that the flow with an HTTP invocation was created. The, uh, the HTTP request call is already set up with all the correct parameters, the URL of the uh, service manager, uh, the body that needs to be sent wired to input variables, all the headers that are needed. And you can see here that we generated all the necessary inputs for this process and, if, and all the outputs that we will be returning back. A uh, REST uh, API of Service Manager returns a JSON object with all the outputs of this invocation. Uh, so what we do here in the flow is after uh, invoking this REST API, we are analyzing this JSON and turning it into Blue Prism collections. Here on the output, you can see that we are returning the uh, response success, whether it is uh, succeeded or not. We, we return here the all, the all the JSON as a text, the whole JSON as a text, but we also uh, analyze it and, uh, and turn it into Blue Prism collections that will be easy to access. Uh, we have here the fields that are returned, the table, the messages that came back from Oracle. So this is what was created for uh, the Blue Prism users, user automatically. And now we can just use it in any Blue Prism uh, process. So let's try to do that. I'll go here, create a new process. Let's call it demo sales order. And now in this process, all I need to do is just to drag an action. I'll open it. And on 
the business object uh, list of value, I will be able to find the new object that was created for me. Here I can see all the parameters that need to be entered. So let's put some values here. This is the path of the file. And this file, this path of file should be uh, accessible to the or Dora Player Service Manager server because it needs to read it. Here, let's put the name of the customer that we are going to create. It says order form, the password, and the sales order order type. That's it. That's what I need for this flow to be invoked successfully. So these are the inputs all set up with the correct values and let's go to the outputs and here I can see the available outputs that will be returned from this business object and let's generate them all so we can see what we get back from this invocation now let's just move around a little bit this object uh, let's take and put first here the success status that is returned back and let's take the all the full output that is returned as a JSON. Now let's put here the fields that will include the new number of the sales order that was just created. A table with the lines of the sales order that were added to the system and all the Oracle messages that were returned. So here we have our outputs. Now all we need to do is just to link this action to the start and end and we're good to go let's press the go button and see what happens now we will need as you can see we invoked a uh, direct call to the service manager and we are now waiting for it to finish let's wait for a few minutes and that's it the invocation was completed successfully. Let's see what we got on the outputs. So the response success is true, which means that it was invoked, it was executed successfully. Let's see the full response that came back, the JSON object that is returned back from uh, the service manager. You can see here the success true. You can see here the lines that were inserted into the system. Uh, you can see here the number of the new order number that was created. All as part of the JSON that was returned. And we have also created for you a few collections that took some of the important information from this response. So we have here the fields that were returned, the number of the new sales order that was created. We have here the table with the lines that were returned. You can see here the first line and all the other lines and the messages that were returned from the Oracle. In our case, it was the status bar message saying that the transaction was complete and all the records were created inside the Oracle EBS system. And now we can just go to our EBS system and see that this new order that I've just copied from the response actually exists in our system. And here it is. Let's open it, go to the lines, and we can see here the lines that were read from the CSV file and inserted into our EBS system. So that's it. The task was invoked, mission complete. Uh, we have successfully invoked an RPA that was created inside the service manager from your Blue Prism environment. Thank you very much for your attention.